Always Mark Center first. So we're going to get our overall width of the roof, which is 170. Now we put our center mark on half of 170, which is 85. And then we can put our marks at 170 and zero. Those are our bend marks. And then watch this. Boom. The marks are the width of the roof. This is the ABN bender that we have uh, linked for in the tools we use section. Uh, these dies are not available yet, but we are going to make some of them. One thing I do on all my benders is mark the center on this space here, and then line up all my bend marks in the same spot. As long as you use your bender in the same way every time, it will do exactly what you want every time. I don't know the exact band amount yet, so I think this is about 90 degrees over here, but we're not going to go that far. Um, I'm going to go to this spot first and check it for fit. We have checked it a couple times to the body, and uh, we did end up using that fourth hole. The quarter does bend a little bit different than the 316s, especially with the dies. This is about 90 degrees with the 316s and no dies. So now we're going to set it up uh, and check our bends. I'd say those are right on the money. Now we're going to add a couple bends to this spot. Uh, we just need to get it measured and marked. So what I've done is put on some clear tape so that I can put some marks on the body. I'm going to set up the tube where it's going to live after it's welded. Uh, and now I'm going to mark on the body the same lines that we put for our first bends. Right here and right here. So we have this mark here and down here. This is where the next mark is going to be for the next bend. Uh, we're just going to measure it with the metal ruler. So it looks like it's going to be about 70, which is what I was estimating. So I'm going to make a mark 70 millimeters down from our original bend line and do that on both sides. And then I'm going to bend it down so it's straight with the body big reason I like these metal rulers is it makes stuff like this super easy. You can just lay your part down here. So set your original mark at zero um, and then we're going to send our new bend line at 70. And just do the same thing with the other side. Doing it like this keeps it very simple and harder to mess up. Another really cool thing about this bender is it has this hard stop here. Um, and that will let you set the same depth for multiple bends. So we know we want to have it 70 millimeters in. We set our first one, tightened up. And then when you're doing compound bends too, it's really important to look at it from the side and make sure everything's level. You could also use a small bubble level or your phone uh, if your table is level too. So same idea as the first bend. We're just going to do a couple small bends and then check it against the body until we get it exactly how we want it. And just that frustratingly simple, we now have our main hoop for our cage. Thanks for watching.